are watching Get It Right on Youth Sheds TV. I am Yaiko Nobasedams, but you can call me Yaki. We've been discussing teenage pregnancy. Last week, we defined it, as well as listed out the factors which usually lead to teenage pregnancy. Those factors include peer pressure, bad company, poor parental guidance, among others. Today we are going to discuss the effect of teenage pregnancy on the pregnant teenager, on her family and on the society as a whole. To throw more light on this, I have Helen here with me. Helen, I'm glad to have you on the show today. I'm glad to be here too. Alright, thanks for coming. How are you? I'm okay. Alright, so um, Helen, yeah? what are the effects of teenage pregnancy? Teenage pregnancy. There are different effects. You are mentioned few. Okay. Okay. Let me start with shame. Shame is one one of the biggest negative effects on teenage pregnancy. Because once they are pregnant, then the shame of knowing that yes, they are pregnant or something um catches them and like that. So the parents the at first they might not want to tell the parents, but when the parent gets to me, the parents will feel ashamed, like, they probably, they probably think about them, something that maybe they didn't give their children or that particular child mm -hmm. the proper upbringing. Yeah. So, that one to um, to the society, the children are at one, at a point, she might feel a lot time to go out because of the protruding belly, mm -hmm. like, maybe what our groups are going to say, our friends and everybody. So that shame won't really make her to feel her mom. Okay. Not until maybe when she's being taken care by the parents, or in some cases the parents might want to be soon that you, you have brought shame, up, um, shame upon our so family. Pack your load. So just pack your load and leave or something. Mm -hmm. But later, later when the girl is remorseful or something, they have then they can still take a bath and such like that. Then the second effect, I'll say emotional crisis. Okay. You know, emotional crisis can lead to different things. Okay. If the girl noticed that, okay, let's say at first time she noticed that, okay, maybe she went to the hospital, she got to know that she's pregnant or something. Then that emotional, that she will feel so emotional, like, okay, what have I done? What will I be? See, imagine the shame that she's going to bring upon herself and her family, then this can, and that, this can lead to suicide. Another one is mental, mental illness, that one. Maybe the girl will think about how she's going to live her life and everything. She, she'll be uh, depressed. What am I going to do? I'm pregnant. People will not want to see me. People will not do this. Even if uh, she didn't resort to suicide, mm. can give her mental health problem. Like the way she think and everything. And so is it like going crazy or? <laughs> Some people go crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> even though when they are doing it, they don't understand what they are doing. They are doing what? When they, when they are making, when they are doing sex. Oh, <laughs> okay. They don't think of the crazy part. They don't think of the. Um, possible outcome, but when the deed is done, mm. then they will start going crazy like what have I done? <laughs> that was if they didn't end up with suicide at the end of the day. Mm. Uh, complications. Okay. After going through different stages and everything, I want you to, it is time mm. for them to give birth. You know, being teenagers, they are, their body is not really strong okay. to carry the baby and everything. So when it's time for them to give birth, mm. some of them, mostly, like let me say 80% of 100, they have complications because they don't have, okay, their body is not strong to carry the baby and to give birth at that particular time. Okay. It leads to low education for the girl, yeah. but the guy can still continue. And it can even affect the girl because at the long run, the guy might choose to make her his baby mama. 
I might not marry her. Not even choosing to automatically he has made her the baby mama. <laughs> okay, because she's not educated yeah. or something. I cannot marry her and go and marry someone that is more more educated. Sometimes the guy to my run away, maybe if the girl's family are really threatening him or something that you must collect this child of <laughs> So the, the boy would not have any option than to run away. Or sometimes maybe if they didn't threaten him, continue with his own school. Does he have any business? Maybe I do not go and collect his child and leave the girl. But some people end up getting married if the love is that strong. Okay. Wow. Helen, thank you so much. You really mentioned a lot. Some of these pregnant teenagers actually give birth to twins or triplets. That's even, I think, the worst case, I'm sorry to say, because you can barely afford food for yourself only being a teenager. And not to even talk of when you give birth to two or three children all at once because of teenage pregnancy. And then your parents have sent you out of the house. The man or the boy who impregnated you is not taking responsibility and you're all by yourself. It's really not easy. Some of the effects of teenage pregnancy include dropping out of school. It leads to increase in maternal and morbidity rates and there are complications as well. So please, wherever you are, try as much as you can to educate a teenager on these things so that we will not have various cases of teenage pregnancy in our society. Next week, we will discuss ways on how to support a pregnant teenager. Remember, Get It Right show on Chat TV is every Friday. I hope to see you next Friday. You can watch it on YouTube or Facebook. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook as well. Till next Friday, be safe.